You're watching WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon. We are approaching 1230 and the news continues. The search for a fugitive authorities called dangerous could soon be over. Police in Frankfurt began searching for Gail Abrams around midnight. They say he severely burned his girlfriend on a stove during a fight. And according to deputies, Abrams now says he is turning himself in today. WKYT's Mark Barber is live in Frankfurt with our top story now at 1230. Mark. Good afternoon, Bill. When I spoke with the sheriff about 30 minutes ago, he said Gail Abrams, this wanted man, was turning himself in. Now, when I spoke with the sheriff just a couple minutes ago, he said that he was not actually at the sheriff's office yet, but he had called them and was driving there. Now, this was not the first time that deputies had searched for Abrams. They say every time that they've showed up at his home, he has run from them. Now, today, nearly 12 hours after they were searching for him again in the latest case, they say he's turning some, himself in. The sheriff says Abrams was drinking with his girlfriend around midnight when they started fighting. He tells WKYT that she was severely burned when Abrams pushed her up against a stove and held her down. The woman was able to walk for help because the Bald Knob Fire Department is just a couple hundred feet away. She was rushed to UK Hospital with third degree burns from her neck to her waist. Now, this is not the first time that Abrams has been accused of a serious crime. We searched through court records and found that he's been convicted six different times. Since 1993, he has been found guilty numerous times of burglary and assault. Back in 2014, his neighbor was severely mauled after she says his pit bulls attacked her in her yard. This afternoon, one of his neighbors is coming to his defense. She thinks his girlfriend is falsely accusing him. Gail, Gail's had run-ins in the past, you know, where uh, he's people have falsely accused him of things that he hasn't done, women girlfriends. He doesn't always have the greatest choice in, in women. And so I'd say that's what it was. I'd say he was just scared. The sheriff says that Abrams will be charged with the possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, as well as first degree assaults. He also says that if he's convicted again, this could classify him as a persistent felony offender. Live in Franklin County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. And while deputies were searching for Abrams early this morning, they brought in a Lexington police helicopter to scan the area with infrared technology. Police have made an arrest in a deadly shooting at a stockyard. Eric Saylor is accused of shooting Shane Thomason at the Washington County Livestock Center Monday. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner has more on what led police to charge Saylor. And his days. It's the routine for many here in downtown Lancaster. Smith's restaurant is where many come to start their day, get a cup of coffee, and a bite to eat. It's a gathering place. Those inside tell us it's just different not seeing Thomas in here. He used to sit up on a stool and drink his morning coffee with his girlfriend's family sitting at a table just feet away. Today, the family sat in their usual spot with many questions. They're relieved an arrest has been made. 47 year old Eric Saylor was arrested for murder. Saylor was also from Lancaster and we're told he and Thomason might have known each other. They used to, they were grown up together. They lived on the same street and everything. But later on, I don't know what the, what the trouble was. We checked with those inside the diner, and none say they knew Sailor. They said they had heard of him, though. In Garrett County, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. And we don't yet know when Sailor will make his first court appearance. There are new details this afternoon about the deadly shooting of a Louisville store clerk. It happened at a liquor store near the U of L campus. Store employees say a man with a gun came into the store and kept saying, help me. They described him as mentally ill or on drugs. But we're told that the clerk was shot while trying to get the gun away from the man. There have been no arrests, but police did stop a car on I-65 near the scene, and they're questioning the driver. Police have arrested a man accused of kidnapping a woman. Police say John Jarrett grabbed a woman and forced her into his car. And according to court documents, the victim said Jarrett choked her and held some sort of tool to her neck. In addition to kidnapping, he is charged with wanton endangerment. One of the suspects in a violent robbery admits now that she played a role in the crime. Robin Adams pleaded guilty to facilitation to robbery and facilitation to assault. 
Police say a group shot Zoe Reed during a holdup at the Danville Dominoes in 2014. Reed survived. Adams was accused of driving the getaway car, and as a part of her plea today, she will testify against the three others charged. She'll be sentenced on April 12th. A Kentucky family claims to have caught the Zika virus while in Haiti. The Carroll family has been living there for more than a year while on a mission trip. Their son, Chantry, currently attends Murray State University. He went to Haiti over the Christmas break to visit, and that's when he and his family began to get sick. I started feeling really sick um, right around New Year's, and um, I would just wake up um, in the morning and just feel really dizzy. And I had a lot of pain behind my eyes. Everyone in the Carroll family is feeling better now, and Chantry is back in Kentucky. Well, there is an opening date now for Kentucky's newest Cabela's. The store, located near I 75 and Man of War in Lexington, will open on March 16th. There will be a ribbon cutting at 9 45 before that store opens at 10. This will be Cabela's third store in Kentucky. There are already locations in Louisville and in Bowling Green. Well, the Super Bowl is coming up Sunday. Have you heard? <laughs> it's the game's golden anniversary. And to celebrate the Big 5 0, America's biggest game is set to make a whole lot of money. Mary Maloney breaks down the Super Bowl's super budget. Hard to believe the Super Bowl is almost here. As an event, Forbes says the Super Bowl is the most valuable sports event in the world. For Super Bowl 50, the NFL is expected to make at least $620 million. If you want to go to the big game, it's going to cost you. SeatGeek predicts this Super Bowl to be the most expensive ever on resale ticket sites. The lowest price on SeatGeek right now runs in the $3,500 range. But a listing on the 50 yard line costs as much as a new car. $16 thousand six hundred dollars you're gonna have to pay up when you look for hotels in the area that is if you could get a room some places jacked up the prices six times the normal rate companies wanting to cash in will also have to pay a pretty penny a 30 second commercial during the game costs five million dollars CBS the network carrying the game expects to make 350 million dollars just from ads alone some of the big spenders anheuser-busch hello Pepsi and Coke. One group that won't get paid? Coldplay. But don't cry for the Super Bowl halftime performer. It's still good for business. For last year's performer, Katy Perry, that free gig turned into a 12 minute commercial. As you watch this year's game, or just the commercials, try not to think about the green. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. And remember, you can see the Super Bowl right here on WKYT. The pregame show begins at 6 o'clock, followed by the game at 6.30. Well, it was a strange sight yesterday on the Berea College campus. Crystal Witt shared this video on uh. Facebook of horses running loose last night while police chased them. The video has been viewed 21,000 times already. Right now, we don't know how the horses got loose in the first place, <laughs> right but there, there on they the campus. are. That is unreal, isn't it? You don't see that every day. <laughs> okay. We'll try to get to the bottom of that. All right, why brain trauma could increase your risk of Alzheimer's. And another reason for older men to exercise. Those stories next in Better Living. These cloudy skies will go away the next few days. We'll see some sunshine and temperatures will start to rise too. But boy, do they drop on down next week. We're going to talk about that and your snow chances coming up. What's the best phone call you've received? This job. And I didn't even believe it. I, I was cursing people out because I thought they were playing on my phone. You can always call on us for a good time. Oh. Hey, girl. How you doing? Today, Tyrese, the talk. I know, right? I was like, what? CBS. If you've been involved in an accident, it's so important that you hire your lawyer sooner rather than later. Things change. Witnesses' memories fade. Evidence disappears or is repaired. Time passed is your enemy. For example, what color is my suit and tie? Am I wearing cufflinks and a handkerchief? Is Emma with me? Don't wait. Call today. Things change. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. 
I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in cause my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bad. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Hey guys, this February, give her the gift she's really gonna love. Endless prime rib, baby! Premium weekends at Golden Corral are here, America. Live it up with prime rib, premium jumbo shrimp, and more. Dinner's just $13.99. And don't forget the classic dinner buffet every Monday through Thursday, only $11.99. Endless prime rib, it's love at first bite. Premium weekends only at Golden Corral, the best buffet in the USA. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. Our sleep experts are the champions at matching our customers to the best bed for them. This week at Sleep Outfitters, get a free TV with qualifying purchase, like this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam, now only $4.99, plus a free TV. Go to sleepoutfitters.com for store locations and hours. Sleep Outfitters, official sleep provider of UK athletics. Sleep like a champion, play like a champion. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98 1 The Bull. Now, your hour by hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Pretty gloomy day all day long. Once we hit the rest of the afternoon, maybe one degree, maybe two. That's about it. So what you feel outside right now is basically what you're going to feel the rest of the day. 36 now in the London Corbin area in Laurel County. Good afternoon to you guys in Williamsburg and Whitley County down south, Lexington, Mountain Parkway. You go over toward the Slade community and work your way down the Mountain Parkway all, to, all the way to McGoffin County, Salyersville. Good afternoon. You're sitting in the mid-30s. Now, we won't really jump that much. It really looks like we'll start to uh, see the skies clear overnight and into tomorrow. You'll get some peaks of sunshine here and there later on this afternoon, but if you're looking for sunny skies, yeah, wait for it tomorrow afternoon. So throughout the night and into tomorrow morning, there we are at 22 degrees, 38 there by 1 p.m. tomorrow. But we'll actually finish off there in the lower 40s once it's all said and done. Then we focus in on Sunday off into Monday because the weekend actually looks pretty good, mid 40s, and also looking for mostly sunny skies. But then Sunday night into Monday, here comes the system. A big jet stream is going to take a huge dip and really slide to the south of us. And that's not going to happen on Sunday. That happens on Monday. It's really overnight Sunday night into Monday. And that could bring us not only the cold air, but also a little moisture along with it, too. So we're looking at some widespread snow there on uh, Monday into Tuesday. Both of those days, very light accumulation. No major issues out of this in terms of what we just went through just, what, two weeks ago? Nothing like this. It's coming in from the north, lack of moisture, light snow. But still, light snow around here, that'll get your attention and also cause a few problems here and there, especially for those schools. So that is definitely something to watch out for that comes Monday, early, early Monday, more likely before we get out to school and uh, you get off to work. So it's something to watch for. We'll see how it turns out. Multiple snow chances, though. It's not just Monday, but it's Tuesday. There's another small chance on Wednesday. So it's going to be an active forecast next week. And man, I mean, you're talking about the floodgates opening with the cold air just invading uh, the region. We'll be at 19 degrees on Wednesday, 7 degrees overnight low Wednesday morning. So, guys. So, if the floodgates <laughs> actually open, that it would be frozen. It, it yeah. would be frozen. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly right. There's yeah. no chance that it's saying just uh, liquid that. That's More like sure. a cold trap door, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That Tell means you. enjoy the next few days. Yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. yeah. Get ready for that. Will do. Uh, yeah. Promise. We appreciate it very much. This word just in the Franklin County Sheriff is now confirming that Bill Abrams, accused of burning a woman on a stove, uh, that is uh, Gail Abrams, uh, has turned himself in now uh, to authorities. All right. The possible link between brain trauma and Alzheimer's disease and another reason for older men to stay in shape. Chris Martinez has details in this Better Living report. Older men who exercise regularly are less likely to fall and hurt themselves. That's according to researchers at Yale University who looked at hundreds of men between 70 to 89 years old. They did not find a similar link in women. 
The earlier pregnant women with severe flu get on antivirals, the better. A CDC study finds expectant moms who take Tamiflu within two days of their symptoms cut their hospital stays by about five days. Research shows pregnant women are at higher risk for serious flu complications, even death. And researchers in London have found plaque buildup that's related to Alzheimer's disease in people with moderate to severe brain injuries. The small study looked at nine people around the age of 44. Doctors say the findings suggest that damage to the brain may trigger the production of plaque. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Hope you stay with us now on WKYT News. Today is World Cancer Day, and you can find out how you can take action in the fight against this disease. It affects so many. That's next on WKYT. After I got hurt in a car wreck, I didn't know what to do about my car repairs until I made that one call. I'm attorney Darrell Isaacs. It takes just one call to my office. Call in the way to go down to oh, oh, oh. Think for a moment. You don't think twice about having your eyes tested, but what about your hearing? Hi, I'm Marcia Mattingly. At Belltone, we've helped thousands of people lead richer, fuller lives by showing them that they can hear the way they should. At Belltone, a free hearing test can determine if you need hearing help. Call now. You have everything to gain. 50 years and three generations serve in the tri-state with the most trusted name in hearing aids, Belltone. These little chickies and little doggies are small, but they're intense. Oh, yeah, small but intense, like my niece Hannah. Oh, yeah. And you uh, take karate? Yes, she does. Show them how intense you are, Hannah. Yeah, yeah! Ah! Oh, my God. Hey! Yes. Now finish him. Bow to her, Peter. I'm gonna bow to it. Bow to her, Peter. Big flavor in a little package. New little chickies and little doggies. And grab a burrito and drink for $3 delivered in two minutes, guaranteed. This is how you sonic. Up to now, affording a beautiful smile has been, well, sketchy. Doctors Durbin, Wax, and Garner are offering an unheard of offer. No down payment and only $175 for 24 months on orthodontic treatment. Learn more at clearchoicesmile.com. It's time to catch some Z's at Haverty's during our President's Day sale. Right now, get 72-month no-interest financing. Get a Sealy Optimum King set for the price of a queen. And save up to $1,000 or get a free box spring on Serta iComfort and iSeries sets. This President's Day, save some bucks, catch some Z's at Haverty's. We know they're a great value, but to see if Malto Meal cereal tastes as good as they claim, we have assembled a panel of experts. Spoons are up. They are mid-crunch. And... Oh, thumbs! Mall to meal cereal. Thumbs up on great taste. All right, come on, everybody. It's time to go. Getting more for your money is simpler than you might think. When you shop at Kroger, you get low prices throughout the store, weekly specials, great value from our quality brands, and digital coupons you can download right to your Plus card. No spin, just savings. Treat your family to a boneless pork loin for only $1.99 a pound. And large avocados are 10 for $10. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Getting hurt in a car wreck can change your life. It can be frustrating dealing with the medical bills. I'm attorney Darrell Isaacs, the hammer. Just call my office if you've been hurt in a car wreck. Calling hammer is a way to go down to 553 Welcome back in. Great to have you with us on WKYT. You know, thousands of people around the world have been affected by cancer, and today is World Cancer Day. The fight continues to try to put an end to this disease. We're joined now by Kendall Anderson with the American Cancer Society to talk more about it. Welcome. Glad to have you today. Thank you all. Well, what really is World Cancer Day all about? So World Cancer Day is held annually, February 4th each year, and it is really a time for communities, our common wealth and globally for folks to come together in the fight against cancer. And so many people are touched by this, really. The, the numbers are staggering. They are. Indeed, they are. So um, one in seven will actually pass away globally this year um, from cancer. Mm -hmm. And if you think about that, if you think about your friends, your family, the folks in this room, you know, what would it be like without that one in seven? And what can we do um, to make a difference? 
We know American uh, Cancer Society is one organization that's working mm -hmm. very hard. There's a lot of research going on mm -hmm. out there. Are things promising? They are. They are. You know, since 1991, we've actually seen a 26 percent decrease in the death rate through research, also through prevention, early detection methods. So things really are looking bright and promising. However, we know that we still have work to do. Well, it's a different world. How are people today taking action through social media? So if you've been on Facebook today, you may have seen a, a new hashtag jump out at you that is hashtag we can, I can, that talks about what we can do together as a global force and what you can do individually in the fight against cancer. It's a very simple uh, web address, cancer.org. Mm -hmm. What uh, kinds of information can people find out there? So cancer.org is a wonderful site. You can find information about how you yourself can take action in the fight against cancer. You can also find cancer-related statistics. You can find um, patient services as well if you've been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, friend, family member, you can access patient services that way as well. But the uh, point is that people can make a difference and they need to take those steps and, and move it forward. They can. So. They can. We appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coming next, the UK football program has a lot to look forward to with this new class of recruits. We'll sit down with WKYT's Dave Baker for his take. Stay with us. moms every day here at Perspectives where they are now a full service design center offering a little bit of everything for everyone. Becky Gent is with us, one of the interior designers. Tell us about your design center. Well, we're so excited because we are able to help you inside and out. We do all kinds of pillows and fabrics and window treatments. We can select colors for your home. We can do blinds. We can do just about anything you want to put before us, including accessorizing. Customize anything and everything from window treatments to the shades. Talk about the difference just even a little window treatment would make. Well, it's, it's amazing. My customers say, I can't believe the difference in my house. It's become a home when we add fabrics and design to their home, especially window treatments. Come to Perspectives and check it out or go to MomsEveryDay.com. Exciting, creative, edgy, fun. A career in cosmetology is always in style, and Parrot & Company School of Hair Design can help you be a part of it. Success begins with proper training. Make it happen at Barrett & Company. Call today and enroll in Barrett & Company. Why do we do what we do? Serve the people we serve at Kenny Orthopedics. Why do we shape and customize, fit each prosthetic, talk and work with our amputees, because they have work to do, games to play, passions to pursue, and lives that need living. We do what we do, so you never miss a step. Get on your computer or mobile device. Because of all the great Toyota deals out there, most are not seen on TV. That's why you need to visit buyatoyota.com for a huge selection of savings offers that couldn't possibly fit in a TV commercial, including 0% financing, great lease deals, and two-year no-cost maintenance. So get on your computer or mobile device and go to buyatoyota.com, Toyota's official website for deals. Toyota, let's go places. If you've always dreamed of a Four Seasons sunroom, now you can make your dream come true. A beautiful Four Seasons room lets the light in so you can enjoy the company of friends and family season after season and can increase the size and value of your home for as little as $129 a month. Call Four Seasons today and get free installation for a limited time. Live, love your life in a Four Seasons sunroom. If you're looking for a career that is rewarding and always in style, start your training for a career in cosmetology at Barrett & Company. Day and night classes are enrolling, so begin your journey into a fashion-forward career in cosmetology and call today and enroll in Barrett & Company.
We're glad you're along today. High marks and high hopes from head coach Mark Stoops for the 2016 recruiting class, calling this group of young men the best ever. And our Dave Baker is back in with us here to give us his take on that. Very interesting the coach would call this his best recruiting class ever. Well, well true, because the 2014 class was ranked about 10 spots higher. Most people put this class at about uh, in the high 20s, mm -hmm. low 30s nationally. That's really good, except when you're talking about what's going on in the SEC, and when you're talking about what's going on in the SEC, they had six of the top ten. Yeah. So, so it's still good, and in light of the way they finished the season this year, it's really, really good that they kept this class together. Well, and they had these five in-state recruits. Mm -hmm. How much of a difference does that make to be able to get the, the top in the state? Well, it, it does. It, it makes a huge difference. And, and again, the way they finished the season, losing them five out of six, six out of seven, whatever it was, mm -hmm. to keep those guys in here, there were three guys that were Under Armour All-Americans for the first time, and, and Cash Daniels and Drake Jackson and Landon Young from over at Lafayette. So it was important. Those guys were guys that people all over the country and all over the South wanted. So to keep them here, you throw in a guy like Devontae Robinson from Henry Clay, who was here earlier today, and then the young man from down at uh, Paducah. That's a great core that you can build around. You know, Devontae was saying the calls kept coming, you know. Uh, oh, they absolutely they, did, they sure. They kept trying to lure him away, but playing at home meant a lot to him. It, it does. And, and, and again, you know, so many people, and, and I get it all the time traveling around the South, ask about this football program. Everything's in place now. You know, people can't say there's no commitment. There's no financial commitment to coaches. There's no financial commitment to facilities. The stadium's been improved. They're going to have this new practice facility. And, and Mark Stoops talked about this. Now you just got to get it done. Well, and not just this recruiting class. There are also new coaches. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that, to me, is maybe more intriguing this year than the recruits themselves. You know, these guys, you know, you're, the cream of the crop of this class is offensive linemen, and those guys normally don't come in and play in their first year. But how much of a difference can these new coaches make? Because, again, it's a new system. It's new terminology. These guys have been brought in. I think it's obvious with the recruiting connections that these coaches have, Eddie Graham and the, the new guy from over at uh, Louisville, that there are deep connections along with Mark Stoops in the state of Florida. And, and so Florida produces more Division I football players than any state in the union. So in terms of that, they're obviously going to focus their efforts there, but they've got to get it done on the field. Schedule's very difficult this year, so it's going to be interesting to watch. All right, spring game not far away, so we'll get a look then, right? We hope. Let's see. Now, remember, they didn't have the spring game last year because of the facility That's renovation, right. so they may have some form of it. We don't know yet. That hasn't been announced. All right. Well, All right. it'll be uh, something we'll watch. All right. Good point. Let's check in with Micah before we go this afternoon. Uh, still seasonal cold out there. Yeah, it is. Typically, we're in the lower 40s. We're actually sitting there in the mid-30s later on this afternoon, but at least we stay dry. Now, we go off through the night and into tomorrow morning. We'll finish off in the 20s. The way you can do that, get the clouds on out of here. They'll start to separate during late afternoon, early evening, and it's going to be a cold start. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. at 38, so we'll be in the lower 40s tomorrow, and then we climb a little bit more for the weekend, and then the bottom drops out with snow, guys. Chris Bailey will be in here at 4 p.m. to get you updated. It looks like a cold one next week. Thank you for joining us for WKYT News at Noon.